With more than 40% of Highland County voters turning out to cast their ballots at the polls Tuesday, the 2010 general election showed success for Republican Party members, statewide and locally. Republican challenger Jeremy Schaefer unseated Democratic incumbent Gary Heaton for a spot on the Highland County Board of Commissioners, with unofficial results showing Schaefer with 6,113 votes and Heaton with 5,696 votes. It's been nerve-wracking all day, didn't know what to expect. Um, I thank everybody who got out and voted and thank all my friends and family who supported me. And um, it's going to be time to get to work very soon. I have to roll up the sleeves and uh, just because we won, it's a victory, but it's a small victory because now we're going to have to get to work and really make some, make some changes. I, I knew I would have an uphill battle. Uh, I knew that probably the, uh, the thing that would work against me was uh, being a Democrat uh, and uh, an anti-incumbent and kind of anti-Democrat uh, atmosphere that's going around now. That being said, uh, you know, the people of Highland County have been very good to me. It's been a pleasure and an honor to have represented them here these past four years. In the race for Ohio's 86th House District Representative, Clinton County Republican Cliff Rosenberger won his first bid for public office over Democrat Bill Horn and Libertarian candidate Jacob Dawson. The current representative for the 86th, David Daniels, was successful in his bid for the 17th Ohio Senate seat beating out Gallia County Commissioner Justin Fallon. Republican incumbent Mike Turner kept his seat in Ohio's third U.S. Congressional District, defeating Democrat Joe Roberts. In other statewide races, Republican Rob Portman won a seat in the U.S. Senate, and Republican John Kasich upset incumbent Democratic Governor Ted Strickland. Highland County Board of Elections members said that Tuesday went smoothly and that new equipment helped the results to be posted hours earlier than in previous years. Really no major problems at all, and that's what we always like to see. Um, the other good thing we had this time where normally for a governor's race, we'd probably still be in there still scanning ballots. This is the first time we used our high-speed scanner. Uh, we scanned some Friday, but we scanned today. We already have all our absentee scanned that have been in the office to this point. It's gone so much more smoothly than a lot of the elections, and I think one reason is because of our high-speed counter, of course, and second of all, because a lot of our poll workers are so experienced now, we're trying to keep the same ones so we've got the continuity, and you know they really know and feel comfortable with the machines, and the youth in the booth are fantastic. I mean, the kids really amaze all of us. Just feel like we've really put on a good uh, election and here it is 10 o'clock and we've been finished for about a half an hour and a lot of time we've been here at midnight so you know it's great we really had a high turnout and we really feel unless we have a real problem with a machine breakdown or something like that that uh, uh, or some glitch that we really don't anticipate we really think this is going to be the norm from now on